The market value of debt is the market price investors would be willing to buy a company's debt at. Or put another way, it would be the cost of replacing the debt if the company were to replace it with new debt. To estimate the market value of debt, we need a formula. Think of all of the debt as a single coupon bond for the company. The coupons are equal to the interest expense on the company's income statement from all of its debt. The maturity is the weighted average maturity of all the different types of debt that the company has. Now let's look at the formula of how to calculate it. We can use a bond pricing formula to get the market value of debt. It's equal to this formula here. Now it looks quite long and complicated. So let's start by going through what each of the variables are, and then we'll calculate an example. So C is the interest expense in dollars. KD is the cost of debt in percentage. T is the weighted average time to maturity in years. And FV is the future value or value of debt at maturity. Now let's plug in some numbers so we can make sense of this formula. Here's an example. A company has 540,000 of debt on its balance sheet. The weighted average maturity is 8.94 years. Interest expense on the income statement is 25,000. And the company has also determined that if it were to raise new debt, the blended cost of that new debt would be at 3.8%. So let's calculate the market value of this company's debt. We take the 25,000 interest expense and multiply it by 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 0 0.038, which is the cost of new debt, raise it to the power of the number of years to maturity, and divide all of that by the cost of debt. We then add to that the current book value of debt on the company's balance sheet, divided by 1 plus the 3.8%, raised to the power of the number of years. And we get $573,427 as the market value. Now, one way to sense check this is to take the income statement interest expense, which is 25,000, divide it by the book value of debt, which is 540,000, and you would get a cost of debt or interest expense of 4.6%. Since the current cost of debt is only 3.8%, it makes sense that the market value of debt is going to be higher than the book value. Because investors would get the higher coupon rate on buying this debt, they would be willing to pay more for it. Hopefully this has been a helpful example for you of how to calculate the market value of debt.